Good morning, everyone. For this unit, each student will be researching a syndrome and creating a presentation to show to the class once you're finished. This may be something you, someone in your family has and you want to learn more about it, or something you find interesting on the internet that you just want to dig deeper into. You may use a PowerPoint, posters, videos, or have speakers come in and share their story. I will now so show you what an example of a PowerPoint would look like if you were to choose this as a way to present to the class. See here, I included transitions, details, pictures, and sources, which are listed at the end. For this presentation, you need to describe what the syndrome is and you need to do this in depthly. For example, how many people are affected by the syndrome? Is it a genetic or an acquired syndrome? And does it affect the organs, the physical characteristics of people, so how they look? And does it affect the organs, the physical characteristics, and how people learn? Next, you will state who developed this syndrome so you can tell who the man or woman was and how he or she came up with it. You will also include how someone acquires or gets the syndrome you have chosen. You must include how the syndrome is diagnosed and how a person is tested for it. Next, tell me about the characteristics of the syndrome you are researching, such as how the person will look and function in everyday life. Then, tell me about the treatment and if there is or is not a cure. Also, include how the person deals with his or her lifestyle and attitude, and if it affects the activities these people can be in, such as sports. Be sure to include a video and pictures. In For whichever way you decide to present your syndrome to the class, you must include your sources. You can use pamphlets from doctors, scholarly articles from the internet or books, an encyclopedia, and other articles that are reliable. If you're unsure if an article is reliable or not, Please make sure to check with me before As a recap, you each student will be researching the syndrome and presenting it to the class. You have two weeks to research your topic in depth. Include pictures, a video, interesting facts, characteristics of the syndrome, who developed it, how the person functions, reliable sources, everything found on your rubric. Presentation order will be assigned next week. If you are not ready to present on the day you are assigned, you will be docked points. So be ready. Have fun with learning about the syndrome, and if you have additional questions, please don't be afraid to ask.